Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Pisces for the second half of April 2021. Now I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. <clears throat> please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yeah, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Uh, we're going to start out with the Gilded Reverie uh, cards. We're going to find out what's going on first, okay? <clears throat> Let's find out what's going on for Pisces for the second half of April 2021 for Pisces. Okay. Let me get one more card, please. One more card. Okay. You guys might hear some cars or Brian barking. He seems to be quiet right now, so I don't know. We're starting out here with the 32 card, right? This is the moon, right? 32 reduces down to the number 5. We also have the 8 of cups there. Somebody might be... I'm feeling like somebody might be secretly making some plans to move in a different direction. 5 is a number of change, you guys. So we also have 17, the stork. You know, the stork is about, you know, fertility. Um, it could indicate some sort of movement or, you know, settling down. Could indicate a child. 17 reduces to the number 8. So we have two 8s, 8 and 8. That might resonate. Um, 8 is about, you know, some sort of movement, right? Some sort of creation. Somebody could resonate with the number 8, could be a life path number 8, just like the 5, life path number 5. I don't know why I'm feeling to say that, but that might resonate. We also have the Queen of Cups right here. There you are. So maybe you might be having a child or finding out uh, news about a child, right? We also have the number uh, 44 card here. It's like the magnifying glass, somebody looking deeper into a situation, it might be involving that pregnancy. Four and four, we don't reduce it. But if you were to, that would also be a number eight. So every card here has an eight. There's some significance to the number eight. And this could be dealing with any sign now because we have all signs here. So let's go ahead and find out what the tarot has to say, right? We're using the Light Seer's tarot. We're going to shuffle one extra time to get some general energy here. Now remember you guys, just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't manifest weird stuff into your life, okay? All right. Oh, I don't know why I picked it up. <laughs> General energy is we have the sun, right? The number 19 card. This could this is this reduces down to the number 10. There could be an ending to a cycle, but somebody is seeing, you know, the light basically the sun is also it's about illumination it's about happiness vitality success right so somebody is feeling that way right now and you know that could be you pisces feeling good right feeling good in your life you know but we have this moon card here which indicates some sort of change and somebody watching somebody may be watching you or you might be watching you know flip flop the energy is the way you feel but somebody is watching something and it has to do with some sort of you know rebirth or something or somebody finding out some news about something hmm, might resonate with someone out there we have the eight of cups so somebody is definitely leaving a situation Right? And they might be leaving because they might find out about a pregnancy. Oh, yeah. 
Somebody was dealing with a lot of competition here, defensiveness. They didn't want they don't want to deal with that anymore. That's why they're walking away. Somebody is walking away from feeling defensive, feeling competition, whatever, right? Yeah, good. Good for you if that's you or whoever, you know. Somebody we don't like to make competition when it comes to relationships. Relationships, it's not a game. It's not a com competition, you know what I mean? A relationship is, is, you know, it's important here. It's not just a game here. We have the Nine of Wands. Somebody is walking away from a situation that have them all defensive, um, dealing with competition, but no longer doing that, right? Why? Because they want to fight for themselves now. Maybe they have some different fight in mind now. We have the Page of Swords here. Okay, so, okay, sorry, bumped the camera. So, we also have the Page of Swords, yeah, and this is about somebody watching. Somebody may be watching somebody walk away from a, you know, situation that they no longer want to take part in this defensiveness, right? Let's go ahead real quick, though. Let's find out um, what this Eight of Cups is, right? What this walking away is all about. All right, what is this Eight of Cups doing here? What's up with this Eight of Cups? Somebody's got, somebody made this decision, right? They made a decision or they need to make a decision to walk away. That could be it too, you guys. Yeah, what else we got? Let's see. So maybe you might be thinking about or deciding whether or not you need to walk away from a, a situation that's, well, there's a lot of defensiveness. Yeah, you're not happy where you are, that's why. There's no wish fulfillment. Uh, this is about selfishness and excess. This is about overdoing it, overdoing the partying and all that stuff, you know, just wanting to be party all the time, you know. Four of swords in the reverse, but somebody doesn't want to let that go either. They like the party status. And that's why somebody is deciding to walk away because somebody was part or will decide to walk away because, you know, too much party. You, you know, we can only party so much, right? We got life to live, right? Yeah. What about this seven of wands here? What about this seven of wands? Ten. Yeah. Somebody doesn't want to deal with this, this defensiveness and competition because there's no longevity here. It's like... There's no settling down, right? You can't settle down and find longevity with a person who's kind of like a player or whatever, right? Yeah. I'm also seeing there's no uh, equal give and take. Somebody is doing a more giving, you know, than, and somebody else is doing more taking. You know what I'm saying? What else do we have? A look at this. And the and these are in the these are all coming out in the reverse. I'm holding the cards right, you guys. We have also the eight of wands in reverse. So this is telling me there's no stability, there's no future for longevity, there's no equal give and take here. Right? What about the nine of wands real quick? Yeah, somebody's dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, but the Queen of Pentacles is also in the reverse. So this lady, she's not financially stable. She's not grounded. She's not balanced. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a uh, wait, Taurus, Virgo, Cap Capricorn, right? This person is not stable at all. Yeah, this person is a, 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 you know, you don't, or well, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, okay? So somebody here doesn't want to deal with a burdensome Queen of Pentacles. That could be you. And we also have the Three of Pentacles, right? Somebody is trying to work some... But the Queen may want to try to work something out. Somebody... Hold on. Give me a second here. We got the Nine of Wands. There's a Queen of Pentacles that may be trying... In the reverse, may be trying to hold on to something. Even though she knows it's a burden... She's going to try and work something out with you. She may, but this person, now you guys, it could be male or female energy, all right? This person is kind of corrupt. This person is not balanced, and how they get their pinnacle is usually in a corrupt manner. Stealing, right, doing illegal activities. 
Um, this person is not nurturing, not giving, none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this person is a burden and definitely wants to work something out with you. I don't know if you want to do that, though. Because this person is party all the time. You know, it's like, my girl wants to party all the time. Remember that uh, Eddie Murphy song? <laughs> that came to my mind. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't, I don't think that if you're on the opposite end of this person, I don't, you're not feeling like that. Yeah, okay, you know, but you know that, you know, everybody's got a time and a place for party, but, you know, you're, you know, Pisces, you might be a very responsible person. Maybe, you, you know, you work, you know, when to party, what, this, that, and the other. And maybe this person you're with is not quite on the same page, you know? We also have this, you know, like we said, the Page of Swords. So you might be, you know, watching this person, you know, act this way, you know, maybe this person will be contacting you, you know, maybe this sun card here, your energy is about being enlightened about this person, look at that, it flew out in the reverse, the queen of pentacles again, so yeah, the queen of pentacles, and she's in the reverse again, you see guys, I can't even make this shit up, I love these cards, <laughs> So, definitely, Queen of Pentacles, not quite, uh, you know. Somebody here doesn't want to deal with that. This uh, defensiveness. Maybe a lot of arguing and fighting, even, I'm feeling. Arguing, fighting, competition, it's, you know. But you're trying to stay, you know, yeah, Four of Cups, Somebody here doesn't want to miss an opportunity with you. Now, it could be the both of you guys, but I think one person has good intentions and the other one just wants to, you know, just thinks that they can bring you in a direction of, you know, let's party, woo, celebrate, but, you know, can't be doing that all the time. What do we have here at the bottom? The Empress. So somebody might be leaving a Queen of Pentacles for an Empress, but the Queen of Pentacles doesn't want, I don't think they want to let go. <clears throat> they don't want to miss this opportunity with you because maybe you are a financially stable and secure person. But look, you may have your eyes on an empress. Yup. Let's find out a little bit more about this Queen of Pentacles real quick. Because <clears throat> we definitely know that she doesn't want to let go of you. The Queen of Pentacles. What's the Queen of Pentacles doing here? Okay, this person doesn't want to mourn over the loss of you, but doesn't want to be feeling backstabbed in a situation either. Okay, King of Pentacles. So somebody, there's a couple. You're dealing with somebody who is, you know, there's a couple here. She is, might even be pregnant. Okay. Um, or you could be this queen king of pentacles who is already shacked up with some or you could be dealing with a king of pentacles who's already shacked up with some you could be pregnant by this person who's already married oh my god it's like a soap opera right here why is this four of cups here who doesn't want to miss this opportunity yeah somebody wants to have a talk with you or you with them about some sort of deception that the Queen of Pentacles did. But the King of Pentacles, he's upright. He's doing all right. He's not corrupt. He's not, he's good, but he's dealing with a person who is, you know. And <clears throat> I do see that somebody doesn't want to miss an opportunity. Oh, or wants to have a talk with a Queen of Wands in reverse. Now, this is an angry, this is someone who's mad all the time, angry, fighting. That That's where that energy I was feeling is coming in from some sort of Queen of Wands. Okay, so we got a couple here. He, it seems like the male energies are in the upright here and the females are not. You could also be any of these energies. If you have maybe earth in your chart or fire in your chart. But I do see here, whoever you're dealing, you're dealing with two couples. And somebody may be, you know, doing something sly on the side. I, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you might be, you know, and maybe somebody actually, somebody could have also told you like, oh, I'm going to, you know, 
end it with such and such and, and they are not being honest. They're not. Maybe it is maybe because they want to, you know, fool around with you or vice versa or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's not impossible. Let's find out what the soul's journey has to say. We're coming into the evening here, so the light's getting a little dim. So, let's see what the soul's journey has to say, okay? <clears throat> Just want to uh, shuffle it one extra time. Two cards actually fell out right when I was doing that. These are pre-shuffled, you guys. Acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So, yeah. Somebody here doesn't want to deal with this anymore because maybe you know you find you you know you walked away. I'm feeling like you walked away from a lot of drama, right? And now you're in the that's why you're in the energy of all this happiness, right? And but you know what? I'll tell you what. Somebody uh somebody's trying to hang on to you, uh, or vice versa, right? Honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Sure enough, that's correct. So, yeah, and I also think that you have been enlight enlightened to no more competition, no more defensiveness. Why? You want to deal with an empress. The empress doesn't deal with any of that garbage. She is well-rounded individual, full of new ideas. So you may know somebody who has a uh, Libra or Taurus in their chart who may be this empress. And you have been enlightened to, you know, whoever this person is, somebody that you might have your eye on. You might be keeping it a secret too. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I have for you, Pisces. It's for the second half of uh, April 2021. Uh, thank you so much for coming. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share if you like the video. Um, also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful, right? Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll talk to you next time.